Okay, stage three. Um, let's see, there's the inlet or there's the volcano. I want to do the volcano because that's a pretty tricky stage. Then once I do the next one, I think that opens up the shrine because you get four treasures or something. Alright, the jewel made of fire will light the way. Scene one volcano, let's do this. Now this one's got some really, really tricky sections in, and tricky enemies as well. As you can see, the enemies in this game are really well animated and detailed. There we are, quickly bounce off those things. Yeah, I know there's a treasure chest there, but I don't really want to pick it up yet. Oh! Let's go to the top. Right, now I think I need to just... Ooh, knock that enemy out of the way. I will say sometimes it can be hard to tell what you can stand on and what you can't. Um, due to the backgrounds being very confusing. But that only happens occasionally, so it's not like it happens every time. Oh yes, ice cream. Jump. 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 Get the uh, get the diamond. I don't know how to get that thing. Maybe I've got to use this. There we are. Another diamond. When well, extra life would have been a lot more useful. So hopefully I can find one. There we are. Oh god. Please be an extra life. Oh, just another snow cone. Alright. Got to be one somewhere. Diamond. There we are. Secret treasure. Oh my god. There's all kinds of stuff happening on this level as well. Lots of hazards to avoid. Stay under here for a little bit. Right. Quickly get on the boulder. Now these sections look difficult, but they're really not. They're quite straightforward. As I said, compared to the Lucky Dime Caper, this game really is a cakewalk. Alright, this should take me to the bottom. And then once at the bottom, I can get off. Jump on that insect. There we are. Charge those baddies out of the way. There we are, I think that's the first section out of the way. The next section now is where it's going to get a little bit tougher. Because as I said, there's um, a timed sort of lava event going on where you've got to get up before the lava and stuff to get to the top of the bolt. It's not too difficult, but yeah. As I said, sections of this game can seem more difficult than they are, but they just require some sort of lateral thinking. go and you automatically well get to the door I think you automatically go in I just walk under this uh, dancing flame jump over oh he says try and jump over that one there we are. luckily there's some chicken there I think right this you want to be really careful because you can get caught out so take your time with this, don't rush it. I know it's tempting to rush, but you will fall, so just time it very carefully. Bounce off the snail's heads, get the treasure. Don't rush this, wait for the boulder to come back. Jump on it. Jump across into the cave. Right, now this can be really tricky. Wait for this flame to dissipate. Jump across. Alright, piece of chicken there. They are very generous with the energy. Now this, I don't want to sound crude here, but it kind of looks like two fingers being stuck up <laughs> individually. These these uh, pillars things. It sounds like something the angry video game nerd would say. Just, it was just an observation, really, that's all. 
Alright, yes. Oh, they remind me of like Kit Kats. To be honest. Very strange. Right, okay, now I think there's an extra life up here I can get, but to, to, to get it, you need to jump off the spider. There you go. Oh, great, I'm running out of lives. I need like another. I mean, my health bar is pretty low, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, this you need to really hurry up because. Look, look what's happening. Lava's rising, so you've got to go really quickly here. Oh, there you go. So I'm literally ahead of it now, which is good, so I'm just kind of timing everything. As I said, this kind of um, threw me off a little bit when I started to play this game because I wasn't expecting this section. I was like, oh, okay, I totally forgotten it existed. There we are. It's nice and simple. And then just literally just stand on this boulder and this should take us to the quick time event where we've just got to avoid some, um, some rocks, really. Some volcanic rocks. Vo volcanic boulders, I should say, coming at you. Jump. So I should be able to do this without too much trouble. Oh, come on. Yeah, and you've got the screen trying to kill you as well, so you can't hang around on here, which sucks. You know, you can press left and kind of slow things down a bit, but you've got to kind of find that happy medium between between going too fast and going too slow. So you need to be able to make the jumps as they happen. So I guess I've just got to stay ahead of the screen then. That's what it's, as it's asking me to do. There we are. Right, okay. And just time your jumps through the boulder. <laughs> oh god, I got cocky there. There we go. I don't think it's going to last much longer though, this. There we are. Sorted. And that's the third treasure. Donald has discovered the ruby of fire. Only one treasure remains. Great. So as I said, it's a fairly quick game. Um, in my practice run, it took me about 90 minutes. I'm actually doing it a lot quicker now. So that's pretty good. So I know at the start of this Let's Play, I was like, oh, it's going to take me several videos. But 